Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoo videos. On today's video, I'm going to do a where are they now on the long and forgotten female rapper, Yay Kid K. Now, a lot of you may remember her from the dance hip hop group, Technotronic, where they came out with that song, Pump, Pump the Jam, Pump It Up While the Feet Are Stumping. Now, I think Yay Kid K is one of the greatest female rappers of all time. And I don't think she gets the recognition that she deserves. And one of the reasons why she doesn't get the recognition that she deserves is because when Technotronic first came out, they tried to hide her identity from the public. Now, when Technotronic first came out in 1989, she was only 17 years old. She was a 17 year old female rapper who dressed like a dude. So a lot of people didn't even know that this was a girl. And Technotronic didn't think she was feminine enough. So they tried to hide her identity. They didn't put her in the music video, Pump the Jam. They got this female model named Phila Kalinka to lip sing the lyrics in the video. And this was like the number one song in the world. It was number one in America. It was number one in the UK. It was the number one song in the world between 1989 and 1990. The song sold over 10 million records. And a lot of people didn't even know that the girl that's dancing in the music video is not the girl that's rapping on the song because they tried to hide Ye Kid K from the public. Now, eventually they wised up and they started allowing Ye Kid K to be public in the music video. So when they come out with the second single, Get Up, Ye Kid K is in the music video and the, the video goes, the, the video is very successful and the song is very successful. Her first live TV performance was on the Arsenio Hall show in 1990. Now, back then, the Arsenio Hall show was the number one show in the country. It was the highest rated show on the air, getting 30 million viewers per show. So when she goes on the show, she gives a great performance. And this is when people start to recognize her. This is when people started to finally realize who she is. Ye Kid K also recorded hit songs on the soundtracks of the Ninja Turtle movies during the early 1990s, particularly one and two. Spin That Wheel, Awesome, and she recorded a few other songs. In 1991, she released a solo album called One World Nation. Her solo album wasn't as successful because it didn't have a lot of promotion around it. So she ended up going back to Technotronic during the mid 1990s and they recorded one last album together in 1995. They, the last album that she recorded with them was a flop. It wasn't, it didn't have any hit singles, not any big selling records and they ended up breaking up. And after that, she kind of dropped out of the spotlight. She moved to Nigeria. She got married. She had kids. She currently has five kids and she's 48 years old. The misconception that a lot of people have always had about her is that she's lesbian, but she says she's not lesbian. She's always been attracted to men. She's always been straight. A lot of people think just because a woman dresses like a man or dresses like a tomboy, she must be a lesbian. But she says she's never been queer. She's always been straight. I always compared her to the brat. The brat would always wear tomboy type of clothes. She would always wear baggy jeans. She would always wear a hat. The brat is a very beautiful, gorgeous woman. If you ever saw the brat without all the baggy clothes on, she's actually a voluptuous, gorgeous woman. But a lot of people always thought the brat was a lesbian. And she always said she wasn't. She always denied it every time somebody called her out on it. But recently, 
in the beginning of 2020, she did a video talking about that she is in fact a lesbian and that she is attracted to women and she's in a committed relationship with a woman. But a lot of people compared her to the Brett. But it seems like Ye Kid K keeps a low profile about her personal life. She doesn't have a Twitter. She doesn't have a Facebook. The only thing she has on social media is a YouTube page. She has two YouTube pages. One is called Ye Kid K Music. And the other YouTube channel, I forget what it's called, but I'm going to leave a link in the description box if anybody wants to check out her videos. Because on her second channel, she gives personal information talking about what she's doing now and what she's done in the past. So if you want to check out her latest material, I'm going to leave the link in the description box. Now, she was born in Congo of Africa. She moved to Belgium when she was at a young age. And then when she was 11 years old, her family moved to America. And this is where she gets that New York accent from. This is when you, when you hear her rap in a lot of those songs in the 90s, she sounds like a New Yorker. But she was actually born in Africa. She was raised in Belgium. And then she spent some time in New York during her teenage years. And this is where she gets that New York accent from. Now, when you listen to her videos on YouTube, she speaks with an African accent. She sounds like an African woman, the way she speaks. Very intelligent, very sophisticated. Hi, it's me, Manuel, AKA Yakipke. I live on the beautiful continent of Africa, which is also the land of my birth. And I'm looking forward to a new USA, United States of Africa. Maybe one day, God willing, amen. And yes, I wrote everything down, so I'm reading. I'd like to mention that Wikipedia is often an inaccurate source of information. That's if you didn't already know. Also, I am not on MySpace, Facebook, or Twitter. I do not know who put up the Yakit K Facebook account, and I also have nothing to do with a site named yakitk.com. I have an email address, and I am on YouTube. So far, that's it. I recently found a YouTube account called Yakit K, but it is not mine. You can find some of my music on YouTube at Yakit K Music. 